Today I'm going to show you a luxurious example of uh, a telephone from the UK. So a little backstory of this telephone. I got this back in 2015, originally thinking it was uh, a GPO trim phone. And you know, the GPO trim phone is the uh, tone ringer illuminated model telephone. And I had made a video of this, I think it was a first checkout video of this telephone years ago and someone told me this was a prototype. But after doing some research, um, I'm convinced now that it's, a, uh, it's an STC Delta phone. And the reason why I can tell you that is, firstly, these uh, junction box here. Usually the GPO uh, junction boxes would have little GPO and uh, British Telecom molded into the cover and this one doesn't have it. So I'm convinced that it's actually STC Delta phone and it's wasn't used on the GPO, but it was, uh, I'm not really sure, but they had a special code on the bottom. Uh, this one is 66LAU63GEC. Now I'm thinking this is a Mark IV or something in between the Mark IV and I can't remember because the Mark IV specifically 66 LAU 64, I think, or 62, I can't remember, but I think it's 62, but this is a 63, so I'm not sure if that's an in-between model. Uh, anybody can tell me, uh, let me know. And I'm not sure if this would be considered a uh, 712, not a 722, which uh, the 722 came out in 71, I think. So I think this is a uh, mid-60s model, I think. I'm not really sure, but this is a uh, this is the two tone green model, and I know they had two other colors. They had like the the white, and they also had the the two tone blue color. So this is the two tone green with the handset being you know a green color, and the the base is more of a brownish gray. And um, I'm not sure if this phone was ever used on the GPO. Um, I added this number card later because it has a blank uh, white uh, card stock behind it. So I don't know if this would even be, if it were an SEC Delta phone, if this was even the correct uh, number card to put in there. But if it was using the GPO, then that's what the card it would use. This is a uh, this is an early model of the dial as well got metal gears in it as well um this is definitely not a prototype because the prototype base is actually uh looks different and they also screwed in from the bottom they had three screws but this one has the nylon screw on the top so now these telephones originally all had the uh little tube in here that uh would glow in the dark but um, i have since removed it I, moved, I removed it the year I, I got it uh, because it was loose inside and it was, uh, there was really no point in keeping it. So I uh, disposed of it properly. So it's very good shape. It had, it was just uh, really dirty when I got it. And uh, I don't know what it, what kind of dust it was, but it had like an orangey colored dust on it. I'm not sure what it was. But you can see it's got a unique design. And um, this comes off like that from the top. And this also comes off with that little, I think there's a little screw cover there that you can take out to take the handset apart. And then, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Now these uh, plastics for the finger wheel, for example, and the, the plunger here are more of a smoky gray color and not a clear uh, plastic you just compare with the little jack here that i installed here with the uh rj11 you can tell that the clear is a little bit different you can hold it up so originally this was called the delta phone it's stc standard television cables but the gpo uh, adopted it as the trim phone tone ringer illuminated model and these phones were made, I think, way up into the uh, into the eighties, I believe. And they also had the uh, they had push button models as well. 
which is neat. So I believe this one is a, a tropical model given the code, the GEC here. That doesn't mean um, General Electric Company. This is the SEC, as I said, GEC. The letter C indicates the color. So this is the two-tone green color. And the letter G means it's tropical. And they also have the standard as well. So this one was probably made for use in any country that it was exported to. So it was, I, I'm this, I'm, you know, that, that convinces me that it's a non-GPO uh, for use on a GPO. And it was here in the States when I bought it. It was, uh, I can't remember what state it was in, but it, I bought it through uh, through eBay. So yeah, um, anybody can tell me in for any information. This is definitely not a 712, but it's an STC Delta phone, but they call it the 712 through the uh, GPO. Anybody can tell me uh, additional information, I'd be glad to take it. I'm a sponge, I will gladly take it and um, learn more about this telephone. But what we'll do next is uh, I will do a demonstration of the phone. So uh, we'll get to hear the neat warbler, and I'll, of course uh, test the dial and the transmitter. So we will be right back. Okay, we are back with the machine. So now I will pick up the handset for you all and give you dial tone. It's a little quiet. You may not be able to hear it. Check the transmitter. <laughs> Usually the light's a little bit more solid as I speak into it, but um, it is still picking it up somewhat. And I can hear myself as well in the receiver. Okay, I'll dial a few numbers. Okay, so I will demonstrate all three settings of this uh, warbler. So let me, uh, so I'm gonna start at number one. So it's got three settings. Okay, so this is number one. And we'll increase it to number two. Then number three. Ring one more. Okay. It's interesting how the pitch gets lower as you uh, increase the volume. Okay, so number one, it's the highest pitch. That's uh, what it sounds like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, anybody can uh, confirm that this is a um, this is a Delta phone. I'd appreciate it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is because uh, the schematic on the inside also says STC uh, on the inside. STC London. So this is definitely not made for use in GPO. I think it could have been, but it doesn't have GPO or BT on the junction box. So pictures uh, of the inside are coming up next. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, more to come and thank you very much for watching.